Okay, welcome to the uh, Brain Joe Virtual Classroom and the walkthrough video for the uh, tab for Long Journey Home. Um, hopefully, if you were catching this, or you, hopefully you uh, didn't get fooled by uh, YouTube changing the time, keeps changing, defaulting back to Pacific time. Um, so it's four o'clock Eastern time, which is the start of this workshop. So again, this is going to be the walkthrough for the three finger arrangement that is found in the um, easy but awesome uh, book of tabs, which you can uh, grab by just clicking on the link in the video description. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, now this is also part of the vault uh, tabs <clears throat> for those in the Breakthrough Banjo course. And uh, so I'm going to be doing the three finger version first, and then we'll come back uh, hopefully around 4.30 Eastern Time uh, to cover the two-finger thumb lead version. Um, so, again, uh, like I said, the uh, uh, three-finger version, or the, the um, book of, of, of uh, Easy But Awesome tabs, there are 10 uh, tunes, 20 arrangements. Uh, you can get by clicking the link in the video description. And there are other links there also worth looking at, including uh, the, a link to an article about how I recommend learning these songs from Tab, especially when you're first getting started. Okay, so um, that's that. So I, uh, we're, we're, let's get uh, start digging into the Tab. And uh, again, if you don't have it, I'm going to be um, playing it on, uh, putting it across the top of the screen. So you can either grab it now or grab it later. Um, you'll still be able to see it. Uh, so let's get started just by making sure we're in the right tuning. So this is going to be, uh, this song is in the key of G in standard G tuning on the banjo, which is D on our fourth string, G on the third, B on the second, D on the first, G on the fifth. Okay. Let me just sing through this song. It's a simple melody. It's a great, great uh, early tune to learn because of that um, in the key of G. Lost all my money but a two dollar bill. Two dollar bill, boys, two dollar bill. Lost all my money but a two dollar bill. I'm on my long journey home. Okay. That is the melody that goes throughout this song. It's a popular bluegrass song. That's the basic melody on the banjo. Now it doesn't quite sound like a banjo uh, song yet. That's what we're gonna do next. And so this version here um, that we're playing is a Brainjo level two version. So the, all of the arrangements that are part of the Breakthrough Banjo course are given level arrangements so that you know, so that you select stuff that's appropriate for your level at any given point in time. And if you wanna learn more about the what the different levels mean, there's a link in the video description to that. Okay, so we're gonna turn this song into a banjo tune. Um, note that uh, if you notice that I'm not wearing uh, picks, don't be alarmed. I uh, tend to do that when I'm trying to sing over my playing um, to help illustrate the melody, which I'll be doing as part of this workshop. Also, if you're watching live, if you wanna leave any comments, I will check the comment box periodically uh, just to make sure uh, if you have any questions along the way. All right, let's get started. Let me. Uh, Chop off my head here. There we go, and put the uh, tab up there on the screen. So this is the um, first four measures of the song "Long Journey Home." All right. So we are going to begin uh, by with uh, the open fourth string, low stone. So low stone. So open fourth string twice, and then we have uh, playing the open second with our index. And then we have the fifth string and the first string, so middle thumb. And then we have a pull off from the second fret of the fourth string to the open fourth. So that whole uh, measure is. Lost on my. All right, there's your first measure. Now we've got second measure begins with the open third string with our thumb. 
followed by a pinch on the first and fifth, followed by middle on the third string, uh, index on the on the second string, both open, then uh, fifth string, first string, thumb middle. So that whole measure is. Now we're going to go to the third measure. We're going to slide from the second fret of the third string. I'm doing that with my middle finger to the fourth fret of the, th of the third string, picking this note with our thumb. Then fifth string, first string, both, op both open, thumb, middle. And then keeping our finger on that fourth fret, play that a string again, third string with our thumb. Then back to the second fret. So that whole measure. We're gonna go back to the open third and a pinch. Then fourth string, second string, thumb index. Then thumb middle, uh, fifth string, first string. So that whole measure. So everything we see at the top of the screen sounds like this. Just so we know where we are in the melody. Lost all my money, but a two dollar bill. All right, so now we've got two dollar bills. So we're going to do the same thing we just did. So we have these two measures are exactly like the last two we played. It's that same slide on the third string, then fifth string, first string, then the fourth fret of the third string with the thumb. 2nd fret, 3rd string, pick with the thumb. So that whole measure just like before. Now, again, just like before, open 3rd followed by a pinch. And then 4th string, 2nd string with thumb and index, both open. Then 5th string, 1st string, fit, uh, thumb, middle. So that whole measure. Now we've got, we're changing chords, two dollar bill. So we're changing to a C chord, and the, that chord, we're gonna hammer onto it uh, at the fourth fret. So that uh, is that chord is middle finger on the fourth string second fret, index on the first string second fret, and ring on second fret of the first string. And again, we're gonna, ham we're gonna first play the open fourth, and then bring all of our fingers into that shape. So we're doing that. <clears throat> and we're hammering on to that fourth string second fret bringing our the rest of our fingers into the C chord shape And then we're also playing that uh, That second string uh, while fingering at the first fret with our index finger after that first note So the timing is basically when your finger is coming down on the second fret to fret it on the fourth string You're also picking that uh, second string at the same time now, if you are, if you want to, if that feels complicated at all, one thing you can do is just instead of doing that initial hammer on, first just play it uh, with your fingers all in the chord shape, not worrying about the hammer on, and play the second uh, fret of the fourth string. That's all you're doing. You're right. Your picking hand stays the same. The only difference is you're gonna hammer on. Uh, that first note. So again, without the hammer on, you just do with the hammer on. So the only thing different is this middle finger is just coming down after that first note. Okay, then we have fifth string and first string while we're fretting the C chord. So thumb and middle. Then we have thumb on the open third followed by index on the second. Fretting that first string because we're on the C chord. And then thumb goes to the fourth string which we're still fretting at the second fret. So the only thing we do with our fingers in that whole measure is just bring them down to the C chord. So that whole measure sounds like this. One more time. And then last measure up here, we have open fourth, followed by a pinch. And then third string, second string, thumb index. And then middle open first. Thumb middle. So that whole measure. 
So everything you see at the top of the screen sounds like this. Two dollar bill. Now we're going back to the beginning. Lost all my money. All right, pause real quick for any questions. We're good to go. Okay, so now we have same thing we started, same way we started, same exact measure. So we have open fourth, open fourth again, followed by the open second, picking that with our index, and then fifth string, first string, thumb middle, and then pull off fourth string, second fret to the open fourth, picking that with our thumb. So that's. Here we go, this familiar measure again. We're lost all my money. Open third. And then a pinch. And then open third, uh, open second, middle index. Then fifth string, first string. So that whole measure. This same exact uh, thing we've done before, that's starting with the slide on the fourth string. Fifth string, first string. Then third string on the fourth fret. Back to second fret. So again. And this is the change from the, from the way we've done it before, the second half of this measure. So first half, just open third. Then a pinch. Now this is the different. I'm on my. That's where we're going in the melody. So we're gonna do a, a slide, second fret of the second string to the third fret. Okay. Now <clears throat> we're gonna just like we did before. We're gonna pick that open first string after picking the second string, like that, which is which is echoing the same that third fret of the second string. It's the same note. Now again, if you wanted to uncomplicate it uh, and break it down, you could start by just playing third fret of the second followed by open first. Because your right hand or your picking hand is doing the exact same thing no matter whether you're sliding or not. So and then just add the slide. Okay, and then play fifth string, first string. So that whole measure. So everything from the top of the screen sounds like this. Sorry. So I'll sing it. Lost all my money, but a two dollar, two dollar bill. Ah. So, um, is where we left off. Now we're going to on my long journey home, and in the song here. So we have the last few measures, um, and um, uh, part of the reason I sing this is so that you really have uh, in your mind which notes you're picking are the melody notes so that you're making sure that those stand out well against the others. So start this with the uh, third string, uh, second fret, index finger. Um. <clears throat> and then we have a pinch. Release that fret, play the second string, first string, open. Then fifth string, first string. Now we're going to go to the next measure and form a partial D chord. Uh, index finger on the second fret of the third string, ring finger on third fret of the second string. And we're gonna play uh, third string, second string, middle index finger, then fifth string, first string, thumb middle. So now bring pinky down to that fourth fret of the third string and then play that followed by the second string. Release pinky, play third string while still fretting at the second fret, and then follow that with the open first. So that whole measure. One more time. And again, we're gonna, and then we're gonna release that D chord. We're going back to G major, which is open strings. Open third string, followed by fifth string, first string. Open fourth string, followed by open second, thumb middle, and then that same pull off we've done before, second fret of the fourth string to the open fourth with our thumb, 
and then open third with our thumb. So now, here's the, everything you see at the top of the screen. Sing it. And that is the song. If you wanted to keep going, you could just do something like this. Home, lost on, and then just go back to the uh, to where we started. Okay, let me. Um, I'm just going to play through this whole thing to make sure you know how it's supposed to sound from start to finish. And I'll do it at an easy tempo. So you can disregard what you see at the top. I'm just going to make it so I can see the whole thing. Okay, here we go. Let me change my view here. There. All right. I'm just going to play through it slowly. And that is Long Journey Home, the three-finger version from the Easy But Awesome Book of Tabs. And like I said, I am going to be coming back to demonstrate the two-finger version at 4.30 Eastern Time, uh, if you are trying to catch this live. All right, I will see you back then. Thanks for watching.